Hello, and a very warm welcome to you all. I'm Frances Manning, head teacher here at Hitchin Girls School. It has never been my intention that potentially your first contact with me as the head teacher would be virtually via a video. It is a huge disappointment that we can't open our doors to you as we would usually, and that I can't meet you in person at this point when you're making this important choice of a secondary school for your child. However, the COVID-19 pandemic has encouraged us to be creative, and I hope that you will find the materials and videos that we've produced will help you to get a full picture of what makes Hitchin Girls School so special. We're all in difficult times, with a lot of uncertainty moving forwards. But life at school is continuing, albeit as a new normal, and I'm delighted to be able to share with you some of these things now. Hitchin Girls School has a long and proud history, and really is a true mixture of both tradition and of modern innovation. This can be seen immediately in our buildings, where our beautiful old school building sits very comfortably close to the very modern Woodside classroom block and the sports hall. It's also reflected by creative and innovative teaching and learning practice, which sits alongside the many traditions that are celebrated throughout the year, and which you will hear more about from one of our deputy head girls on our open event site. This year, for the first time, I'm able to tell you that Hitchin Girls School has now been recognised as a world-class school. A group of our students worked together to audit and present our school for assessment, and we are delighted to have achieved the World Class School Quality Mark, which was presented to us at Cambridge University last December. We're looking forward to really being able to involve our students in this work now that we are all back together in school. You're looking to join us during a period of expansion in both Hitchin Girls School and Hitchin Boys School, in which the 2021 intake will be the fourth year group of 210 students. This expansion has enabled us to better meet the need for more school places in Hitchin and the surrounding parishes. And the recently updated facilities and new buildings allow us to be able to provide the best possible learning environment for your child. In fact, the addition of our new buildings has enabled us to utilise a much larger part of our school site, which means that the increased number of children in school does not result in bigger classes or more children in the same space. This seems an appropriate time to talk briefly about the admissions process. Our admissions are managed by Hertfordshire County Council and application to the girls' school is via their secondary transfer form. Details about the admissions process are available in the Moving On information from Hertfordshire County Council and they will also be able to give you guidance about priority areas for the school and historic data on the number of places allocated by area. If you have any questions about admissions, please direct them to the admissions teams at Hertfordshire in the first instance. You can also find a link to the admissions information on our Open Evening webpage as well. Although I'm speaking to you now as the head teacher of this great school, I do also know firsthand how important it is to all of you to get the secondary transfer process right. And I am fairly sure that the key question that you're all considering is, will this school be the best one for my child and will they be happy here? My role is to try to help you answer this question by telling you a little bit about what we offer. The first key consideration is that we are a single sex school. This does provide a quite different environment to a mixed school, and there are many advantages to this, but you will need to consider whether it is really right for your child. Our constant aim is to provide an exceptional experience for all students by offering the highest provision for teaching and learning, the greatest level of care and support for all our students and for our staff, and opportunities for high quality learning and experiences beyond the classroom. This allows us to achieve the best possible outcomes for all students, whatever their background, ability or need. In terms of academic achievements, we have a history of producing outstanding results, both at GCSE and at A-level. Our students achieve very highly compared to both local and national outcomes, and this year was no exception. 
I'm sure you will be aware of the situation that schools found themselves in this past summer when examinations were cancelled. We worked very hard to produce centre assessed grades for our students, which reflected their work and expected outcomes. Despite the confusion which ensued around the process nationally, we were delighted both with our process and the outcomes of it, which were a true reflection of the abilities of our students, whilst also demonstrating the value that we add to outcomes for them through exceptional teaching and learning. You can find the details of both the A-level and GCSE grades via a link on our open event page, both for this year and for last year. Importantly, our A-level students were able to secure their places at university or in further education or in training, enabling them to fulfil their ambitions for the next phase of their learning. What I can assure you of is that regardless of our students' starting points when they join us in Year 7, they make excellent progress at GCSE and at A-level at Hitchin Girls, placing us in the top 100 state schools nationally. We're proud of the outcomes of our students, but there's so much more to Hitchin Girls than examination results. We pride ourselves on our curriculum offer and are committed to continue our practice of offering a broad range of subjects which reflect the interests and skills of our students, as well as those which will gain them the qualifications that they're, so that they're able to have a choice about their future. We don't restrict student choice just to satisfy government initiatives and our students study an appropriate number and range of subjects. We have individualised programmes for students at GCSE and offer choices in some subjects from as early as Year 8. We ensure that the opportunities given to our students are the best for them. Hitchens Girls' School is often referred to as a family by students, staff and parents and this is one of the things of which I am most proud about our school. Once you are a part of the HGS family, you will always be part of that family. We have strong links with our former students, many of whom we remain in contact with to share their experiences in their work, to conduct mock interviews with our students applying to university and to attend our career events. Like most families, most of the time we get on just fine. But again, like most families, we sometimes have fallouts. And where this happens, we work to close down any friendship or bullying issues as quickly as possible. However, we can only do this if we know about it. And we encourage everyone in the school to, import, to support us to be a telling school. We encourage our students to tell us if someone's being treated badly by others, or if things are not quite right for them. And we can then support and intervene at the earliest opportunity with the help of our tutors, heads of year and pastoral team. I want to spend a few minutes now telling you about the secondary transition process and what you should expect if your child is offered a place with us for September 2021. Historically, we visit every child in their primary school and we're really hoping that this will be possible for the 2021 cohort. This year, our staff spoke to every Year 6 teacher or the head teacher in primary schools to help us to find out as much as possible about our new Year 7s to help us place them in the most appropriate groups, both in forms and in lessons. Where there are additional needs for any of our incoming students, we will organise extra visits and our learning support lead and SENCO, Mrs Cole, will arrange to speak to parents to offer further support. Then there is, of course, the secondary transfer day. And then on arrival in September, we run a bespoke induction programme, which focuses on meeting people, forming relationships and learning about our culture and ethos within house groups. This is supported by our sixth form students who work with the new students to begin to see how we operate and help in terms of welcoming them into the Hitchin Girls School family. If you choose to send your daughter to Hitchin Girls School, she will be with us until 2028 and will have changed from an 11 year old child to an adult. I feel the responsibility of the part we play in this journey very strongly and I assure you that we work right from day one with our students to encourage the belief that their basic abilities can and will be developed through dedication and hard work. We work together with you as parents to enable your child to be resilient and ready to learn, to view difficulties and obstacles not as problems 
but as opportunities to develop and grow stronger. We will support your child to be confident in school and in life, to see problems as opportunities, setbacks and mistakes as chances to learn and to achieve personal growth and success as a result. We want our students to be healthy and to be mindful of looking after themselves, both physically and also in terms of their mental health. As a school, we hold the Wellbeing Kite Mark, awarded in recognition of our forward-thinking approach to wellbeing and supporting positive mental health. Mrs Cole, who is also our mental health lead, works closely with the Child and Adolescent Mental Health Service, or CAMS, to develop materials to support best practice in schools across Hertfordshire around mental health. Most importantly, we want our young people to enjoy school and to be happy to come here each day. We will make memories with them and enjoy listening to them recount them as they move through the school. I believe most important of all, we encourage our students to be themselves, to be individuals, to express their own talents and to do their very best. We will expect them to work hard and always try their hardest. And in return, we will provide them with the best teaching, both in and out of the classroom, and support also to assist them to achieve their aims for the future. I hope that you will decide to trust us with your child's education and development for this next important stage in their lives. And I look forward to working with many of you in the future. I hope that you enjoy working with our open event resources and I ask that you please let us know if you have any questions. I do look forward to being able to meet with you in the not too distant future and I thank you for your time in listening to me. <laughs>